Hello, welcome to your 20 minute full body reformer workout. This is created if you just have only 20 minutes to do a workout, if you're building your stamina up to do a longer form reformer class, or if you've been doing the reformer challenge that I've created and you did the 10 minute class many times and you're ready to add in some more minutes and some more exercises, welcome. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. Hi, I'm Leslie Logan, co-founder of OnlinePilatesClasses.com. I've been teaching Pilates since 2008 and I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. If you go to opc.me slash challenge, not only will you see all the classes that are in this challenge have ease of access, you'll also see the exercises with links to watch the full tutorials if you have any questions about any of the exercises, and also my team and I can help hold you accountable to showing up for yourself. We know how hard it is to create a habit. We absolutely love helping people do it. Make sure you check out our video on how to create habits as well while you're here. Now, we're needed to do this workout real quick, but as always, when in doubt, leave it out. At onlinepliesclasses.com, we will leave it's brave and courageous to replace an exercise you can't do yet with one that you can. If you have any questions along the way, drop them in the comments below. I go live on Sundays, so make sure you've subscribed to this channel and hit the notifications so you never miss our lives answering your questions. And also, share your aha moments. Share the wins you have along the way. Take this class as many times as you need and drop below how you're doing so I can celebrate you. It's one of the things we love to do at OPC. All right, now, we're gonna get into it. So um, we're gonna start with footwork. You're gonna see a lot of the exercises are the same as the last one. We're gonna insert some more exercises in. They will not just increase the time, but also some of the difficulty. So please feel free to repeat exercises you can do. All right, so footwork. Three to four heavy springs. Line on your back, balls your feet on the foot bar, and go ahead and press out and all the way in. So 10 of these on your own. We talked about in the last class how we really work with the back of the legs and not about pushing the knees down. Breathe into those lowest ribs and just notice how your body is feeling today because every day is a new day. Come all the way in onto those arches, squeeze those legs tight together and bend and straighten the legs 10 times. It's tempting to want to look down at your feet <laughs> but do me a favor, look up at the ceiling. And then come in all the way, come onto those heels and push out and in. So really working that inner heel into the foot bar. Last few. And then we go into tendon stretch. So that will always be the order. Toes, arches, heels, tendon stretch. It's not my order, it's just supplies order. Push out, lower and lift the heels. And one of the reasons I like the order is that I can omit the exercises that are not right for me today. And I also know where I'm going. So I don't have to create anything new for myself, right? We've got a lot on our plate every single day. And it's so important to be able to compare ourselves from today and yesterday and tomorrow so we can see where we're improving. Come all the way in or where we need some support. Go ahead and take your foot bar down. If you are not taking your legs all the way low, you can rest your legs on top of the foot bar, of course. And then go ahead and place your legs long. We're going into the hundreds. So handles up to the sky. Squeeze those heels tight together. Of course, you can leave your legs down or you lift them up as high as you need as you exhale and come up. Pump those arms vigorously. Inhale for five and exhale for five. <sighs> Squeezing those ankles towards each other. Squeeze those outer hips in. <sighs> Breathing into those lowest ribs. And how big can you make these pumps? Can you make them a little bit bigger, but keep your head still and your legs still? <sighs> we try, right? <sighs> Last cycle of breathing here, and then we're gonna sit up to take some springs off. All right, so take the handles on one hand and teaser on up. You can also bend the knees. Go down to two springs. We're gonna do some coordination. So elbows in, we've learned this in the 10 minute class, so I'm not gonna break it down this time. You're gonna lift your head and chest up, press everything out, open, close the legs, 
bend the knees in and bend the elbows. If you want to do the broken down version, by all means, honor your body and what it needs today. Focus on those arms pushing back. So you're really waking up the back of your arms and your upper back. And as these legs open and close, it's outer thigh, inner thigh, right? One more. Awesome. Hook up your handles. Go ahead and grab your long box. Pulling straps. Again, exercises that we know from the last workout. After the pulling straps, we're adding some stuff in. So it's going to get a little spicy. So go down to one spring for your pull straps, one medium to heavy spring. You don't want it to be too easy. I don't want you flying across your former, but it shouldn't be so difficult you can't do it, right? Walk your hands up your straps. Slide your shoulders to the edge of the box, pubic bone into the box, inner thighs up and then pull the arms down and back, heart pulls forward, and lower the arms. And again, pull the arms back, and lower, two more. Last one. If your wrists are breaking and bending or your elbows are bending and you're losing that straight arm, you're gonna miss out on the good stuff of the arms connecting to the back. So as you do the T-pull, slide those hands to the end of the strap and move your arms out wide. You want the palms to face down the whole time, the wrists straight, and the arms pulling up as you go back. All right, last one. Okay, we've got one more thing on our box here today. It's called hamstring curls, and it's because I really want us to strengthen the back of the legs because it's so important so you don't feel your lower back and that you can actually support your core. So you add a second spring, and you're going to sit on the box, okay? And then we're going to cross the straps, and then you put the short loop on your foot. So for me, I slide my handles down. If you're using those double loops, you'll use a short loop. And then you put the straps on your feet. You look at the strap that's on top. You slide your hip away from that. And then this is the fun part. Point your toes, bend your knees, and voila, <laughs> you've flipped over. Now slide forward so it's just your knees um, on the box, right? You, uh, kneecaps at the edge of the box. And then I'm going to go down to one spring, but this is a two spring, one to two spring exercise. We'll start heels together, knees apart lift the knees and push the pubic bone down five times pull those heels towards your seat with your feet pointed you should feel those frontal hip points pulling away from the box just so you're not pushing your lower back into the box and then we're going to squeeze those knees together and do five parallel and you're going to feel which one was easier for you which one was harder for me the parallel one is the harder one after five Shake the straps off your feet and slip off. Now we get to put this box away. In the 30 minute class, we'll add more on top of the box. We're gonna go back to familiar exercise with the long stretch. So head rest up, sticky pad on, two springs, okay? And a lot of people like to get down on their knees and then come up into a plank. Ideally, I'd love for you to challenge yourself, get your wrists on and then one foot on, and then as you lift the other foot up, you land in the plank, and then push with the legs. So squeeze the legs together and push. Now you get a lot of people asking questions about how do you push with your legs? And if you're an onlinepliesclasses.com member, then you can send a video of you doing the exercises you have questions about and getting my feedback, a personalized touch on what you can connect more to, what homework you should do, <sighs> come all the way in. And also sometimes it's just a simple hand placement we have to change, right? Get the toes under, so it's like flexed under, so you got a nice big stretch across your foot. Heels back, and then wrists are straight again, down stretch. Push those heels back. Feel that hamstring curl strength pushing this carriage away, and your arms are tempted to push out, but you're, you're actually just reaching down from your back with those and pulling your heart forward. And then lift the waist up, let the head hang, dig the heels down and push the carriage out and in. So same exercises, class number one, working the ribs up as the heels go down. Last one. Awesome, okay, scoot this pad down. 
So we're going to add a spring on here. So uh, we are actually putting more weight into our stomach massage. Last class we did it with just two springs. So I'd love to see what three to four springs now. Whatever you did for your footwork. Come onto the balls of your feet. Press out. Lower lift the heels and bend and come in. So you're finding the longest round shape that you got in your elephant and your coordination. And then your legs are pushing from the back of your legs, just like the muscles used for your hamstring curl. If you're on three springs, stay there, hands back. If you're on four, drop one off and push out and in. So again, those heels will lower once the legs are straight and they'll lift before the knees bend. Two more, we're gonna add one more exercise to this series. To do that though, take off a spring. So you're down to two, arms forward and out and in three times. And then we go back to our twist, right? So we know this one, reach and in and reach around and in. So the waist pulls you around. Last time, awesome. Okay, short box. So we're adding a few exercises on the short box in this week's class. So grab your box, make sure your headrest is down. You're on two springs, so you're good to go. I always get my foot bar out of the way. I see a lot of foot bars up all the time, and honestly, you want it out of the way as much as possible. So if you have a bar, use it. If you don't, it's okay. You'll just hook your thumbs. You'll hear me tell you how to do that. And then place your feet into the strap. Get the strap around the base of your feet and push the legs apart. Wrap your arms around your waist, okay? Sit up nice and tall in this round shape, and then you'll round back and you'll come up. And you round back as far as your legs don't slide around. So I shouldn't hear your clips down there, and I also shouldn't see you sliding front to back. And if you know how to go into extension, by all means you can. Every day is a new day for me, so, and you. <laughs> go ahead and grab your bar, sit up tall, flat back. So some days I don't go all the way back. Let the wrist be nice and straight here. Pull on the bar. Make sure it's in your peripheral vision. If you don't have a bar, you hook your thumbs overhead. Straight arms, right? Here we go. Pulling this bar apart. Look at the tip of your nose. Lean back and lift up. And lean back Oof. and lift up. So really pushing your legs down and out. Not the knees down, those thighs. So think about your footwork. Oh, last one. Awesome, so put that bar away. You're gonna pull your left knee in, turn towards your left, get the knee in line with your hip, and the foot just goes under your right leg. We're not hooking it. Then I use my headrest to lean out. My heel goes up, top hand behind your head, then the bottom hand, get nice and long, and side bend up and down. If you're like, are you kidding? You can just hold and reach the arm out and put it back down and just Work on getting the strength, right? Push that heel up, not the toe up. I promise you, you'll, pref you'll prefer it. It's also better and stronger. And then come all the way up, and we switch sides. All right, so using the hand on the headrest to get nice and long. Maybe just lift the hand up and hold. Maybe you side bend up and down. Heel up, tailbone nice and long. Awesome. Okay, get rid of your box and your bar. We are gonna go in to our knee stretches. So we know this from the last class. And there are three. So you'll have two springs on, foot bar up, and then you come kneeling. So those toes are back like they were for that down stretch and your spine is nice and around. We'll do six round here. So inner heels are pushing back. You push the legs back and you pull it in. Push the legs back, pull it in. Really closing the springs and working the carriage out with the back of your legs. And then stay up. Open the collarbones, pull the spar apart, and same thing. So the arch is not in the lower back. It's in that upper back. After six of these, you can go into the single leg knees off 
or you can lift both knees up. So here we go. To lift both knees up, we sit back like we we're doing the round, and then we lift both knees simultaneously, and you push out and in six times. More important to close the spring. Your spine needs to stay round. It's going to want the booty to start sticking up to close the spring. Use your center. Push with the back of your legs. Woo! <laughs> All right. Add those footwork springs on. Here we go. Running and pelvic lift. So head rest up. Whew. Put the balls of your feet on. And then just take notice of how your body feels in this carriage. It's been a bit since you were lying down. Press out, one heel under, one heel up. So feel yourself standing the balls of your feet, pushing through them even when the knee is bent. So you feel the back of your leg working. And then come all the way in. Take the arches wide, slight turn out, and then lift just your hips up. You can put your fists underneath your hips here for a couple reps with me. And when you push out, you shouldn't feel like you are pressing down onto those fists. And when you come in, you don't want to feel like you're leaving your fists. So you only go out as far as you can keep those hips exactly where they are. And then go ahead and unfist your hands, press them down three more. <sighs> Last time. Awesome. Go ahead and roll down, come up, go back down to two springs. All right, so we're gonna go into our um, front splits. We're gonna practice the first two parts of it. So you're gonna take one foot up onto the foot bar and the other leg is back. Remember, your whole ball, your foot's on the carriage and the heel is back. And then you push with the back heel as you lift your frontal hip up. So we're not shoving the lower back forward. We're almost like we're trying to pull this up so you get your glute is on and then we don't overstretch the hip flexors. We actually use the back of our leg to stretch the front of our leg. And I know you can push with this front leg. We're not doing that on purpose. <laughs> One more. Stay in. Take this arm and side bend up and over. So again, lifting that hip point up, feeling how that stretch happens. Oh, so nice. Now the second part of this, we're just going to do the second part on each side. There's a third part. We'll do that in another class. Turn the foot down and out. So the heels into the shoulder rest, square the hips off and push with the back of the leg. So again, not from the front of the leg, the back leg. One more. Woo, I get a nice good stretch in my calf there. All right, other side. So foot is back, other foot's on the foot bar, hip point is up and reach. Lift that frontal hip point up, 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 up as that heel presses back. Awesome. Then we take this arm over and we get a nice side stretch. Oh, thank goodness for that. And then we turn this foot down and we press out and in. We're reaching that heel nice and down into the carriage and pushing with the back of the back leg. <laughs> Last time. Awesome, come all the way down. Okay, so then we're gonna just do a quick third part of the Russian split. So not the first part, the third part. It's gonna prepare us for um, next week's class where we actually start doing some single leg stuff. So I put a sticky pad up. This is the third part of your Russian splits. So your heels are together, toes are apart, head hangs. The back foot goes on first and it's turned out. Please look at my foot. Heel is on the foot bar and ball of the foot is too. We're not just like on our tippy toes up here. And then the heel goes into the crease with the other leg of the headrest and you're in the splits. Let the head hang and push both legs out while the hips remain square. Push out and lift your stomach. So practice reaching with both legs and then lifting the waist up. And again, reaching with both legs and lifting the waist up. Last one. Awesome. Front foot comes back first. That's a safety. Then back foot. We put the other foot on. And then again, heel. Let the head hang and reach out and lift your waist. And again, reach and lift. 
Last two. So it's not falling out and riding the springs in either direction. We are using our stomach and reaching through our legs. Bring the front foot back and the back foot down and go ahead and start to celebrate yourself. You did it. Oh, we added some new exercises in there. And if that was a little bit like, oh, I wasn't ready for that, please, you know, ask questions below. Also, again, if you're an online pliesclasses.com member, we'll look at your form. So send us a video in. And if you are curious about an aha moment, a win, a celebration that we can share with you, drop in the comments. We want to celebrate you. We go live on Sundays to answer our YouTube questions in our OPC group. We answer those questions every single day. So if you have questions, drop them down. If you would like to be held accountable, remember opc.me slash challenge means you're going to get accountability emails. You're going to get some extra teaching. We'll make sure it's easy for you to see all the exercises that were in this workout. So if you do want to deep dive or nerd out on any of the tutorials, you can can. They all exist for free here on our channel. So thank you so much for being here, for working out with me, for doing this challenge with me and trusting us along this process. And until next time, have an amazing day.